Kia ora, welcome along to Mercury Bay Park Arena in Tauranga. It is the FI hosting their second sales NBL game in their history at home to the Auckland Tuatata. Driven down State Highway 2 to improve on their season record of 1-1. One one. It's a double header for the Tuatata in round 2. Who's Pedro Hunt? Corey Webster into the lane. And getting that done. Such great balance. Able to come to that stop and get that little step through because of that well balanced landing and gets the finish because of the strength he has as a two guard. Here's Pedro Hunt. Over Rob Lone. Nice active finish there from. Pero Hunt. Well, one of the few players that has a lot of experience going against Rob Lowe because he did so in practice last year. A little frozen there and then got the kiss off, neutralizing the shot blocking ability of Lowe. Rebounded by Holland, kicking it out to Vance Jackson Jr. Oh, he likes the tray ball and you see why. He surely does. That's his second, knocking that down. Bazant gives it back to Boucher. Two-man game, Bazant. Three ball rattles down. Bazant gets himself involved in the half court. One of my favorite jumpers in the league to watch. That moon ball goes up, such a soft touch on it. Tarangi nails that three. Jackson Jr. for three. Tarangi involved again, this time with the rebound. Webster. Nails that three, Corey Webster, vintage. Uh, you can't guard Corey Webster below the three-point line. Vance Jackson Jr. was two steps off of it, and Corey Webster took a lot of time, and he is talking to Demarcus Holland again. <laughs> you have awakened the lion. And these are going to go back at it. How, what does Demarcus Holland coming back for? I mean, look at that Jackson with that step back, the little rhythm dribble. Five straight for Corey Webster. And what was a five-point deficit has become a five-point lead. The five have not scored in this quarter. They turn it over again. Glennon with the finish. 12-0 run for the Tuatá. Now how to score this for almost three minutes to begin the second quarter. Bazant gives it back to Boucher. For the handoff with Perro Hunt. Mines Jackson Jr. Rob Lowe right there. Bazant. Nothing but net for Jaden Bazant. He just has the two looks today, but two for two from deep. And he is the guy that I think can really lift the level of his offense. You know, he's kind of looking like the third, fourth option at times, and, but he is so talented offensively that he's a guy that I would be looking for with a little bit more regularity. Look at that shot there. That is pretty. The lead is now four. What a second quarter for Torengi. He's up to 12 points now. Vance, excuse me. Yeah, Vance Jackson Jr. back into scoring form from behind the arc. That's a difficult cover for Rob Lowe, too. Jet Thompson in the game for the five, number four. Bazant to Boucher, kicking it across. Thompson has it, four to shoot. Jackson Jr. knocking down another triple. Tuatata up three. Coming up on two minutes to go in this first half. Tarangi driving, left hands to the right and the finish. What a quarter for Ruben Tarangi. He scored the first five points of the quarter. They tried to get him involved and you can see why. He is absolutely demolishing the five defense here in the second. But a two for one opportunity for the Tuatara. Rob Lowe with the finish. Oh, beautiful pass, Corey Webster drawing multiple defenders. A lack of defensive communication for the five. Tarangi spinning up and in. Ruben Tarangi is on one tonight. He has got 19. He's under Masters now in the game for the fight. He is a great prospect. 
out of Rockadoo Boys High School, just 18 years of age. Number nine for the fight, bottom of his screen. Boucher out there as well. Pero Hunt with the Ooh. English. It's pretty. That was a nice finish. With the same, the same foot, same hand finish there. Kisses off the glass. KPH trying to get himself involved. But it's been difficult for the fight to get too much closer than that. Got it six a few times in that third quarter. But no more. Corey, step back three, drills it. Just <laughs> so smooth. Just so smooth. Just. And that's coming out of a, a, a time out there. Defy really needed to do better. Glidden! Oh, there it is! There it is! There it is! Get up, Pam Glidden! The baseline hammer dunk. Hammered at home with power. Mostly. I can guarantee you it's still shaking down there. <laughs> <laughs> Vicious finish <laughs> from Cam Glidden. No, he, he got it. Well, look at the backdoor pass here by Rob Lowe. Cam Glidden, he's so worried about the triple. You got to be worried with the flush, baby. I hope somebody picked that picture at the exact right time. Just a, just a really cerebral team. All, all the players out there know where they want to go with the basketball, and that's what happens when you got vets of this stature playing together. Just the 14 foul for the fight. Be careful here as Rob Lowe and Cam Glidden <laughs> operating at a high level with that move there. Favor repaid. Rob Lowe gets a glizzle of the dunk with the backdoor cut, and then Rob Lowe does a chin up on the rim after a nice uh, drop pass there. Too easy. Garbage time right now. Looking for one more bucket on the Tuatara instead of get one more turnover. Jet Thompson coming the other way. Fitzgerald with a steal. Do it for the field goal percentage. Almost back of the iron. And it is a 20 point win for the Tuatata. 92 72. Good win for the visitors. The fight go down by 20.